It, it's just amazing to be here at this point where we've got dirt turned, we've got construction happening, we have the check being passed to launch the official fundraising for this. I mean, it's happening. It's finally happening. And to see that the songs are going to come out of this space again, I mean, it, it, it's not just, you know, for this town that I'm living in, but even my son right here. I mean, this is just, this is a big day in Macon's future. And, and like I said, it's probably one of Southern Music's greatest comebacks. I mean, find me a city right now that has this much momentum happening for a project like this. And we're a lucky bunch here in Macon, Georgia today. <laughs> What does it mean to you to have this renovated? Well, for me, it, it is wonderful news. Uh, you bear in mind that I was looking at this situation over a year or so back and thinking that they were going to tear down the Capricorn studio as well as the offices of Redwall up on Cotton Avenue. And I thought, my God, the Walton's name is going to be erased from history right here in Macon, Georgia. And uh, we thank goodness we got enough support uh, out of the Macon people uh, to be able to offer some resistance in them doing any of that. And uh, it, uh, it meant the world to me. I mean, it's probably one of the happiest days of my life is when they told me that they we're not going to demolish Cotton Avenue, you know? I'm just so relieved that uh, uh, the history will be saved and the, one of the greatest things of it all is the fact that the studio will once again be returned for recording the new younger musicians, you know? Right. And they're offering uh, rehearsal rooms to bands. And see, I used to let them rehearse in my building next door all the time. And... Uh, uh, so having the rehearsal halls is a big asset for the young musicians.